people used to get on my nerves getting out of church or whatever and standing in them lines for them chicken dinners at Greater Grace. Them dinners was so blessed. Remember, <laughs> you used to have to leave out a little bit early so you can get in line for your mama. Because if you didn't have somebody standing in line for you, oh, my God. Limits to everything except the buffet. Yes, Lloyd is fooling. And and there's a limit to the buffet because they put fillers in that shit so you won't keep eating. You ever notice you you could starve yourself all day. Like, I'm going to the buffet because your intention is to be fat as hell. Maybe I'm the only one who's done this before, but roll with me. You get there. If you get a salad, it's a wrap because that dressing got fillers in it. Boom. Mm. You're going to get one more plate and be mad as hell because you thought, your fat ass thought, that $9.99, you was going to eat like a king and queen. That's another thing, too. We got to be careful with this shit because you know what? I remember, <sighs> that's some ignorant shit. I remember when Golden Corral had first came out and certain family members were scrambling to get there. Like, you know, that Golden Corral open. That's some fat ass shit. Like, that motherfucker opened up here. Go around with something nasty to me. Oh, all that bullshit. But you know what? Um, right. We was like that too. We, my, my stepdaddy really loved Golden Corral, so we was always at that bitch. But <laughs> not always. To been. be honest, you know, I know you're not supposed to take food out the buffet, but my mama used to always have a few of those gallon size Ziploc bags. And she always took out chicken. My mama always had some shit, y'all. Like, I got so many Golden Corral stories. It's it's ridiculous. One time we went to the Golden Corral, and my stepdaddy, uh, oh, my God. That was poor pot. Yeah, that's why you got to sneak it, honey. You got to get your, um, your Ziploc bags. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. She... Um, my mama kept a Ziploc bag. We went one year, and I happened to be grown this year, y'all. So I was like, definitely like at a at an age where I could have just got the fuck up and left. But here I'm in the middle of this ghetto shit. There's nothing I can do. They argued the whole fucking line. We finally get in. My mama was on one. We ate. She wrapped her food up as always, and my stepdad used to leave the money on the table, um, for a tip. My mama casually picks the tip money up, goes into her purse, pulls out another Ziploc bag. The bitch was full of change, and she dropped that bitch on the table. She didn't set it on the table with class. She dropped it so loud that every other table around us turned to look over at us because you could hear the shit fall on the table like it was going to fall through the motherfucking table. So I happened to look down because I could not believe what my eyes had just seen. That It was... It really was something to me, y'all. Like, I literally had to look down, and it was a bag full of fucking change. And it wasn't even, like, quarters. It was her bag full of nickels and dimes. And her philosophy to it all was it was probably about the same amount of money and change that he had put down on that table and paper money for the tip. So if, every, if, if people really want to think, that this shit just started with me as an adult. This has really been my whole life. Like, and we're here, we at this fucking buffet. And she just put all this fucking change on the table. After she probably had to dig through it to find it in her purse full of fucking Ziploc bags full of chicken and steaks. Okay. So I, I just really, I probably ain't been back to a buffet since I, 